Reddit what is the dumbest question a customer or client has ever asked you at your job? Working in the back of an ambulance on a patient with a serious need of nitroglycerine to lower their blood pressure. Sir, before I give this medication to you, I need to triple check that you have not taken any ED drugs in the last 72 hours like Viagra or Silas. Rattles off all variations. If you have taken it and I give you this nitroglycerine, your blood pressure could drop dangerously low. Have you taken any of these meds? Oh no, never. Are you certain? Oh yes, of course I am. Runs through potential deadly side effects again. No, never. Okay, hold this pill under your tongue. Does generic Viagra count? Gra. Why do you do this? Pharmacist here. I feel your pain. Why I sent them an invoice. Sigh. I work for an accounting firm. We did a project for them. Wrapped it up. And build it. A few months later. They came back with another project. So we did the work. And gave them a bill. They somehow thought that the new project was covered under the previous invoice. I get too many dumb questions to remember them all. Here's a dumb encounter that happened just yesterday. When sending confidential documentation, we would encrypt it and put a password on it. It's common practice to send the document and the password in two separate emails. I got a message from this guy saying he couldn't open the document I sent him. Me. Did you use the password? Client. Yes. It said there was an error. Me. What password did you use? Client. I just hit a K and it said that I had the wrong password. Me. Wait. So did you type anything in? Client. Well number. Me. Could you use the password that we provided you? Client. I didn't think it would work so I deleted the email. Me. I tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. A group of four ladies sat on a table that is reserved for a group of regulars every day. Before I opened my mouth to let them know. One says we see a reserved sign but we are unsure exactly how reserved it is. Long time ago now. Got a call that a user's laptop was dead and wouldn't power on. I go and check it out. Press the button. No life. Plug it into the power. It starts charging. Press the button. It boots just fine. The user wasn't plugging the laptop into power because she thought we had wireless. Tried to diagnose someone's connection problem for 20 minutes before I overheard splashing and kids. Asked where they were and they were at a pool. They thought the office Wi-Fi extended to anywhere on the planet apparently. Mildly relevant. I used to work the counter in parts at Subaru and my manager was helping a customer. A rare occurrence for him. And he turned to me and asked me how many days do we have for a 45 day return? Selling paint. Woman wants to paint her fence. I give her advice and explain to her how to prepare the surface. She then asks. Do I need anything to apply the paint? I'm like a roller or a brush. She's like oh. I can just splash the paint on the fence. She was dead serious. Woman. This is not Looney Tunes. This is the real world. Vet tech. A lot of people think their dog's nipples are ticks. A lot. One man even pulled a but he's a boy on us. I used to work as a bank teller. A lady came up to me and asked to withdraw money. I informed her that she couldn't withdraw money because her account was overdrawn. She was immediately upset. So I had her account checked for fraud. She then explained that all those charges were hers and she wasn't expecting any payments. She was spending money she knew she didn't have. She then asked me why we couldn't just give her more money. This is my grandmother. She overdraws hundreds a month and couldn't understand why they wouldn't give her a loan. For my name. Not the question itself but the reason why he asked. I was volunteering as cashier at a used bookstore for the library. Not my regular job but I do it often. In comes this older fella who buys a big stack of books for like 10 bucks. He was really nice and chatty though he didn't seem completely aware mentally. Not a big deal. I just had to explain sales tax and the book pricing a couple times before he seemed to get it. He pays by credit card and I explain to him how to sign the touchscreen for the payment to go through. This is where he asks for my name. I tell him. He takes the iPad and says he really appreciated my service and happily tells me he's going to sign my name for the card so they will know to send the money to me. Before I can say no wait, he submitted the signature. I can't see his receipt but he keeps telling me I was great and to keep the change so I can't assume he was being legit. I honestly wouldn't call it dumb. Just bizarre. 
made me wonder if he's been signing cashier names the entire time he's had a credit card. Thank goodness the card companies never check those things. Thank goodness the card companies never check those things. I remember reading this story about this guy, maybe it was a reddit comment, about this guy who consistently signed his receipts with a doodle of a dong. The first time he decided to be a grown up and signed his actual name, the bank contacted him because they were concerned about possible fraud. A co-worker at a video store asked does this calculator do math? No, unfortunately all it does is roll cigarettes. When I asked for here or to go I got a confused look followed by what would you recommend? Definitely to go. Can we open the curtains to make the screen brighter? While pointing at a projector and screen setup, she seriously thought that more light in the room would make everything brighter as if the projection was some sort of moving painting. I work in AV. I can confirm I've gotten this. Also I get this doesn't look like it does on my computer. Of course projecting light looks different than in LED display, especially when you rent the cheapest projector for the biggest screen size. I worked at Kinkus and on three separate occasions different people angrily asked me why I returned their fax documents to them. They thought that a fax machine was some kind of willy wonka thing that sent their original piece of paper to the recipient. A few years ago, far more recent than it should be, I had to send a document to the local council. They asked me to fax it, I asked if I could just scan and email it and they said no because we need the original. I used to work in a call center for a large bank and a customer phoned while he was in one of the branches and said the queue was too big so he wanted me to help him. I asked what his query was and he said the ATM was broke so he had to withdraw cash. I asked how I could possibly help him withdraw cash from the bank over the phone and he said why can't you just fax it to me? So apparently a lot of people out there think fax machines are the Star Trek transporter. C. How much is this? Me. 50 C. Like the sticker says. C. And this one? Me. One dollar. All the items have labels on them with how much they cost. C. Oh is that what those mean? That's clever. Not the slightest bit of sarcasm in their voice. I pressed slightly and found they were genuinely unaware of price labels. You met a time traveler. Renovating a major hospital when the owner changes their mind again and wants to change the plan after we've started construction. You guys can take care of that right, with no extra cost. Oh, and the end date won't change, will it? We sure as frick can't Steve, and it sure as frick will. Those changes are gonna cost another $100,000. And now we need to go buy completely different materials and figure out what the frick you're talking about. The schedule is frick now. This is why construction never ends on the first given end date. While towing his car to a dealership, so what do you do for a living? He was serious. He assumed I had another job because I didn't fit the Billy Bob persona he associated with tow truck drivers. I did this with a realtor that was showing me a few houses. I'm a realtor. That makes sense. I just got lost in the small talk and had a brain fart. Library. Once I checked out several books to a woman and told her the return date. She looked at her friend, then back at me, and said, Shocked, you mean I have to bring the books back? Similar but opposite. At a bookstore I worked at we changed our return policy from 1 month to 14 days and so many customers angrily shouted that they can't possibly finish a book that fast. We calmly told them that's the point. We aren't the library. When you buy a book it's to keep. I used to work in computer sales and repairs. Had a customer come up who was maybe 23 years old saying she couldn't get her laptop to open something. So I take it, and open it and casually ask, what is it you can't get open? She looks at me shocked as I open the laptop screen and tells, I have been trying for hours to get IT to open how do you do that? I look at her not knowing how to respond and close it and open it again. She takes it and walks out saying thank you. I took a long look at my computer I was working on and decided that this was the moment that made me quit that job. I work at an Italian restaurant and this guy was looking at ordering a salad, and when I asked what dressing he wanted he kept going back to the pasta sauces and asking Sugo, that would be good on it wouldn't it, I'll get that and I tried to explain sir, those are for the pastas, you got the Mediterranean salad and he responded you're right, maybe carbonara, another sauce. I don't get what he wasn't understanding. 
He seemed like a normal smart dude but he just couldn't comprehend the difference between the dressings and sauces. I work in pharma and someone called yelling at me to stop selling her son weed. I think she took the definition drug company way too literally. I worked at a Mongolian restaurant that served white rice. A guest honestly did not know what rice was when I offered him some. I had to explain it as those little white things. After 10 seconds of me trying to figure out if he was just messing with me, he looked at me still confused and I just said never mind. Someone once asked me why are you guys making it so difficult to find a car parking spot this time of year it was Christmas time, and I was a casual working in a tiny store in a huge shopping center. I didn't even know what to say. Because we hate you. Library clerk here. Do you have a phone book for celebrity phone numbers? No, sir. No we don't. I worked at Old Navy and an elderly lady walked in and asked where the boats were. She had never been inside an Old Navy and assumed it was some sort of boating store. Not a question, but someone once effectively told me they were allergic to air. I used to work in an optician's where we'd carry out pressure tests, a few puffs on air onto the surface of your eye, where quite literally, the machine just blows your eye with, yup, air. The customer was adamant she was allergic to it, couldn't have it done and in fact accused me of no knowing what I was talking about. I see you met my grandma. This one was just 2 hours ago. One of my users came today with an iPad. When I asked what the problem was, she said that when she holds the power button and home button down for 10 seconds, it just shuts off and takes a minute to restart. That was her whole problem, that if she holds the power button, it turns off. She called it the freaking power button. I used to work at a fine jewelry kiosk in a mall. Our jewelry included items like gold bracelets and necklaces bonded with sterling silver, sterling silver rings with cubic zirconia gems, gold engagement rings with diamond chips clustered together rather than one large diamond, etc. I had a lot of regulars, and this one woman would come in often and ask of every item she was interested in, is this real I explained what bonded means and how we don't sell diamond rings for $25 but that the rings were indeed certified sterling silver with synthetic gems. I gave her information like this over and over again, day after day, and she would follow up every explanation with, okay, but, is it real? It's a real ring, yes. I used to work at a grocery store deli. My co-worker for some reason got more stupid questions than anyone else. We'd swap stories every shift, but one went a little like this. Hi, what can I get you? The 8 piece chicken. How many pieces are in it? How? How many pieces are in the 8 piece chicken? Um, there are 8 pieces in the 8 piece chicken. Okay, I'll have that, please. To be fair, the lady was awfully polite but how many pieces are in the 8 piece chicken is still a stupid question. Can I have chicken medium rare? No no you cannot. I once had the exact same thing happen. Girl, can I have the steak? Medium rare please. Guy, I would like the chicken. Medium rare as well please. Me, I can't do that sir. That's salmonella. Then she had to explain why you can't eat chicken medium rare. Whenever I answer the phone I have to say good morning afternoon and then our hotel name. So many people interrupt me halfway through this to ask if they called the correct hotel. Some even after I just said that. I work in a bank. Actually not even a bank. It's an advice center so no cash or anything like that. Not that anyone reads the signs on the way in. Had a pair of women come in and one says that the other is visiting from France and needs to check how much is in her account and can I tell her. I ask if she's a customer of this bank, thinking maybe she's a student learning English and has set up an account because that's quite common. But no, she wanted me to tell her the balance in her French bank account. How do people go around having no idea what's going on? work at a zoo and one year they did a big tv advert to highlight night zoo since we are open until 9 pm during summer at around noon a woman asked me where was the night zoo i said here but in six hours working as a flight attendant london to miami in business class mum with one toddler and one five-year-old boards immediately spots me and asks where is the crash i'd like to clarify my airline does not and has never offer child care on board she was adamant we should and continued to palm her children off on the crew for the rest of the flight. Luckily the kids were fairly quiet. 
the crash is beside the swimming pool. I won't get into my job but I am routinely asked what 80% or 85% of 100,000 pounds is. I work at an independent pet store. We sell mostly dog supplies. But there's a small section of cat toys catnip etc. A new, pretty jimmicky item we brought in is a line of catnip that is packaged to look like medical weed. There are the prescription bottles and pre-rolled joints. Now, the people know these are catnip products. But I've had multiple people ask, after puzzling over the pack of raw paper rolled catnip joints, but, how does the cat smoke it or, how can they even hold the lighter, they've got paws, I never do quite know how to reply besides muddled laughter. I work in a poker room at the front counter, him, can we get a table, me, sure, what would you like to play, him, no, for dinner, me, looking around, we don't serve food here, this is a poker room him grumbles and walks away i worked at wendy's through high school and part of college one day a man in his 50s wearing a bright magenta suit walked in and ordered a burger i asked him do you want a combo or just the sandwich and he asked what is a combo i explained to him that it was a sandwich with fries and a drink but somehow he didn't understand he looked at me blankly and asked i want fries and a drink but what is the combo we went back and forth on this for like five minutes I don't even remember if he ever got what a combo was, or if he ended up getting it. I do remember, however, that I saw him two weeks later in a different city at my other job training political canvassers. He was wearing the same magenta suit. I was in such shock that I just stared at him, saying nothing, thinking, it's the combo guy. Do you guys sell ice here? No sir, sorry about that. Alright ya yeah, got anything like ice? Comma um, what? Got any UHH real cold water? Had a customer ask for a 100% lead crystal decanter. I had just explained to him what 20% lead crystal meant. No you can't get 100% lead cause it wouldn't be crystal and also it'll kill you. Worked at a small fine dining steakhouse in high school. The restaurant closed at 10pm. And one day a table decided to take their sweet time with everything. So it was now 12.30am. And I still had homework to finish in school the next day. One prick at the table asks man. I bet you really want us to get out of here don't you ya no crap. But I couldn't tell him I did. I told him well. While I have school in a 6 hours. Providing good service means treating every customer as if they're your first one of the night. Shot myself in the foot right there. They didn't leave until almost 2am. And I was late to school the next day. I'm surprised your manager let that slide. People don't believe that I'm a sushi delivery guy because I'm white. In high school a while back I worked at a Tim Hortons and we were advertising that we had just put in free Wi-Fi. Old guy at the drive through asked for a free Wi-Fi. We asked him again and he repeated himself. It wasn't for a few seconds we realized he didn't know what Wi-Fi was and thought it was some sort of free promotional item. Maybe not necessarily dumb on his part but it was really funny and turned into an inside joke at the store. My dad was a park ranger, R.I.P. Pops. He had many hilarious stories. The best was when he was just starting out at the Grand Canyon. He hadn't learned the finer points of customer service nor the depths of people's stupidity yet. A visitor made a comment on a ranger led to of the rim that the Grand Canyon must have made a tremendous noise when it popped open. Dad said, yeah, imagine the noise it'll make when it slams shut. The visitor was not amused. Worked at Best Buy and the two dumbest ones are these. Dude, where are your heavy duty TVs at? Me, is it going in a business? Thinking he means it'll be on at all times, like at a bar. Dude, no it's going in my living room. Me, what are you planning to use this for? Dude, for watching. What else? Me, sorry, I'm just confused why it needs to be heavy duty then. Dude, well I dunno, you tell me, you all are the ones advertising these HD TVs. Second one. Dude, these are LED TVs? Me. Yep. Dude, they run on electricity? Me. As opposed to. Dude, I dunno. Me. Yes sir. They still need electricity. You have been visited by the wisdom papa type study well papa or you will fail your next text at school. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.